again with another biscuit tutorial. Today we'll be doing some marble biscuits. So the things you'll need is a large baking sheet with some baking paper ready to go in the oven, a large rolling pin, some 6mm acrylic spaces. You can purchase these online from Cutter Craft. I'll put the link in the description. These just ensure you roll out nice and evenly your dough. Then we've got two pieces of baking paper for rolling nice and smoothly. Our biscuit dough is already prepared. We use the Miss Biscuit recipe, which I'll link down below, which is available for purchase on her website. Then we need a round biscuit cutter. We have our three shades of fondant. Today we're using blue, yellow, and orange. And then we've got our embossing tool, which we can press into the fondant. So let's get into it. First, we're gonna lay out our baking paper. Put the bottom sheet on. Take our biscuit dough and just flatten that a little bit on top. Then we're gonna add our second baking paper. And just squish it down a little bit to help get the process started. Make sure your acrylic spaces are on either side so then the rolling pin can glide over them and get the correct thickness. And then you're gonna softly put some pressure on and roll it out. We'll just keep rolling until we hit those clear spaces and then we'll know that the dough is six millimeters. So we can tell that's nice and even now because our rolling pin is just gliding over it very smoothly. So that should be even with this. So we'll just remove the top piece of paper and we have a nice even dough. We're just going to grab our cutter and you can use any cutter here but today we're just using a round one. Then we're just going to grab a spatula which we just use that just to make it easier to lift them up. Peel away the dough. And then we're just going to get the spatula right under the biscuit and just lift it up and place it on our baking tray. So now we'll just go put these in the oven at 160 degrees for 7 minutes and then we'll be back to decorate. So now that we've got our biscuits all baked, we're ready to start icing. So today I have fondant icing in three different shades. We've got yellow, blue and orange. This can be done in any particular colours you'd like. Just try and make sure the colours match together so they don't turn brown. So we've got most of the blue, so we're going to take half of those and split them in half. And we're just going to roll them into a long sausage. You might need to put some corn flour on your bench, so it's not too fussy on how even it is. And roll the second one into a long sausage as well. You can put the biggest amount on whichever colour you prefer and want to be the most dominant, so that's up to you. With the orange, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to split that into two. We have a bit less of this one, so it'll be a skinnier sausage. And we're just going to lay that and push that in to the blue. So roll the second sausage of orange. And we'll just leave that until we have our yellow ready. If you do want more of one particular colour, you can do three or four sausages of that colour. So we'll put the yellow on top of the blue and orange and just squeeze it in there. So then we'll flip that over. And we'll do yellow on the opposite side. And squish that in. And we'll try to keep the colours on the opposite side so when they marble they look nice. We can put the blue on top. So I'm going to sprinkle some corn flour now. Just to make sure it doesn't stick. To get the marble effect we're looking for, we're just going to twist and then squish together and lightly knead. We really want to make sure we don't knead this too much because we don't want the colours fully incorporated together. Just a light few kneads like that. And then we're going to turn it over with our rolling pin and roll out. You will have to check what side looks better. But first we're going to roll it out and then we can see which side we prefer. We don't want this too thick because it is going on the biscuit. No one wants anything too thick. So you have got a lot better finish on the other side. This always happens with the fondant because you, it just depends how the marble will mix. Now every marble is different so you'll never get the exact same look so you have to keep that in mind. But we can try to replicate it by using the same colours and combination. So you just want to lift it off the bench and add a bit more corn flour down. We don't want too much here because we don't want it really dry. And you just want to stop when you get the desired thickness, which is not too thick, just a thin icing on the biscuit. Once that's ready, you're going to take a circle cutter that fits on top of your ice biscuit, and now you can choose whichever swirl you like the best. Now next you can move that out of the way. You can obviously make some more biscuits than we're doing today. And now we're going to emboss. So you have this tool here which comes with all the letters in the alphabet. You can add these on with it, whichever saying you'd like. So for example, for a first birthday you could put Hugo, one, or any particular name or age. And then we can imprint these into the fondant. So today we've done Kate's Cakes. And I'll be pushing these into the fondant lightly to get an impression. 
So we'll take our first one and we just want to make sure it's centered because we're just going to push lightly but make sure it's impressed. So we've got cakes and then we're going to go in with the cakes underneath and just line it up and push in. So now we've got a biscuit that says cakes, cakes. So we'll just set those aside for a minute while I finish the rest. So now I've got my water ready. So this is just normal tap water and a paintbrush, which has only been used for cakes. So we're gonna take our little icing, flip it over and just gently hold it so you don't put any impression into the front of it. And we're just gonna put on some water. We only need a little bit of water just to make it stick here. And we're just gonna flip it over and line it up with the biscuit. Now you're just gonna press lightly and smooth it onto the biscuit. And then we're just gonna repeat that with all of them and stick them all on. If you have any excess corn flour on the biscuit, just take a lightly damp brush and brush it off the edge there. Perfect. So they're all done now. So now you can obviously, when you choose to do these at home, you can choose any colours you'd like and just marble them together. You can also change ingredients or add special effects like silver dust, gold dust, gold leaf or even silver leaf. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe and we'll see you next time.